Happy Valley, Episode 1. Have you got a fire extinguisher? Eh? Eh? For putting up fires? I've got oh, one in the car. I need something bigger. There's a fellow around the corner. Reckon he to set fire to himself. Thank you. Well, he's on top of that. On top of that. How much are these? Nice glasses. Well, you can send you, send you set up. That's his choice. But he's not taking my elbows, my elbows with me. Him. Oh, what do you think? I'll give a toss about what you do. You're just bloody scum. Like, you're just, you're like, you are like pigs, like animals. Do you know this name? Liam Hughes, 23, unemployed, smackhead. What's he upset about? His ex, his ex? She finished with him three days ago. Now she's sleeping with his best bud. Not the high ranking, highly trained specialist expert police negotiator. Oh, he's right. We've got a high ranking, highly trained specialist expert police negotiator, Ray from Wakefield. ETA, basically, it's you and me, kid. Going close to there. Going close down the comedy department. The one and only human barbecue. You yeah, know, you coming closer? I was setting myself on off. All right, I have a Liam. I don't know why you'd thought that. It's actually, it's actually fire. It's actually fireball yourself. Be no accident about it. Going to get phoned, and believe me, it's not a good look. How's it all come to this then, lad? I've been humiliated. Humiliated? Don't want to talk about it. All right? Okay. You know, actions speak louder than the words. Okay. Let's just start, say this. Say this though, Liam. The lad is making me nervous. You've got a lot to. Dr- you've had a lot to drink. You've got the shakes. You might press it without hesitating. To, tending to. I like you to put it down. Leave me alone, you stupid bitch. You're upset. I understand that. Your point I'm making is that there are all these fumes. Frankly, I don't know how you're staying conscious. You could go up any second, whether you intend to or not. And once you will go up, you won't just go up a bit. You've got a lot. And the other big thing is it, say it hurts. Three seconds in, you'll be screaming and pull me out. Seven seconds in, you'll be begging me to shoot you. Control the Rover, November 3512. I'm a negotiator on his way to you. Be stuck in traffic. Okay, so the big thing is to keep the subject engaged in conversation. Yeah, I think we've got that covered. Our Kathleen, by the way. I'm 47, a divorce. I live with my sister. We were covering hearing edit. Her two grown up children, one dead, one who don't, who won't speak to me, and run in firm. So why, why don't you, doesn't he speak to you? It's complicated. Let's talk about you, with a terrible block of a head. All you got is your benefits, and you're barely scraping by. It's a troubled town, troubles are found, stuck in speed bump city, where the only thing that's pretty is the thought of getting out. Never sin. See you soon. It's Kevin. Oh, terrific. Thank you, Kevin. Never sin. What's up? Oh, nothing. Nothing's up as such. I can. I can. The thing is, I'm okay, Melissa. Melissa, my eldest. I know who Melissa is, Kevin. She's very bright. She's very clever. We tried to get her at, in that sober high, hebel high, 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 but outside, the, but it's outside the catchment area. The thing is, we. Jenny, that's my Jenny, uh, it was Jenny's idea. She and Melissa sat the entrance slam and said both volumes. He was offered a place but not a scholarship. A lot of competition. We'd like to be able to send her there. Well, obviously, but things, it is only to pay rise. We don't send her there. Uh, if we can't send her there, she'll have to go to Wimsley High. You know, you know, it does its best. It's a great opportunity for her to send both volumes. I don't pay you peanuts, Kevin. No, Nelson, I know that. How much is it? Nine, nine, eight thousand pounds a year. Nine thousand eight hundred. Well, Catonia, Catonia, right? Yeah, which is no, not daft, is she? We can can't send one and not the other. We cross that bridge when we get uh, get there. Take nineteen thousand six hundred a year for five years. Most likely seven. That'd be a shy of four hundred forty thousand pound. Hundred thirty thirty seven. 200. Where's he high? He's not a bad school, Kevin. I was saying it. it's a clever child. We're not do well wherever they go. Look at me. There's your great example for all of us now. Same, of course, Nelson. 
That thing, I've got 15, 115 permanent staff working here, Kevin. I know how many people work here, Kevin Nelson. I do the wages. All I ask for is a raise so they could send their kids to both families. I was still going to make a profit, wouldn't I? Did not necessarily mean the whole amount? I'll tell you what's going on to go, going to do to Kevin. I'm going to talk about it. I think, I'm going to think about it. Kevin. Caffeine? Hello, I thought I'd okay, catch you. Do you know anything about this man that tried to fight fire himself this morning? Yes, he didn't. No, the one that was threatening to. An incident occurred. It was dealt with swiftly and efficiently. Community police officers. Not a gauging copy. It, was not really, it wasn't really that exciting. You're going, are you doing anything this evening? Tully, we'd like to go out somewhere to eat. I'm losing, I'm only losing my job. We all are. Your zet's closing down. You're kidding. 120 years of print now. It's well not closing down. It's all going online. Good God, Richard. I'm really sorry. Announcing it officially tomorrow. Got three weeks left. Look, I've got to go. I've got to pick up Ryan up. I assume you know. I only heard this morning. I'm being, I was covering something in court. Tommy Lee Royce has been released. Do you, do you, do you know? No. I mean, I knew he would be around now. But apparently he's out. Oh, Catherine's, hello. Sorry you haven't got five minutes, have you? Ryan, you're such a little nice boy, Ryan. Most of the time. When you let this unpleasant temper let me get the better of you, I understand you still get frustrated. You've got to get, get better ways of dealing with it. Did he hurt anyone? No, no, he hurt himself. Nobody else got hurt. The point is, Ryan, they could have done, could have, they could have done. They start throwing chairs across the room, being unacceptable, using unacceptable language, you see. Do we have a responsibility to protect, we do have a responsibility to protect the other children. I'm watching telly, telly. Can you get changed first, please? Why? Because I said so. Can I have some juice, then? Need for, do you ask? No, I mean, getting, getting it, I mean, are you getting at me? Get changed. Lie down. Story Bridge, Total 5, if stuff was wrong. Oh, he didn't. Apparently, woman in the butter shop said, Oh, you want these? Oh, it's her. Been busy? I've been up in the allotment all afternoon. Just got back. There's some tea in the pot. I saw Richard. He asked me out for a meal tonight. Is it all right? Can you see, can you see to Ryan? Sure. It's a bad a bit mad, isn't it? Date with your ex-husband. When the young, younger model has something to say, been in bother again, he chucked a chair across his classroom, told Mrs. Milkery to F off. Do you ever sometimes think that oh, they overact? Tony Lee Royce is out of prison. Yeah, 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 I heard. Why well, you, didn't you tell me? I didn't want to upset you. You got you did your best. Well, it wasn't good enough. Didn't matter. It matters. At least I just thought about it. And, they, and he said, no, you was going to be unlikely. Not sure on any, just anybody. Jesus Christ, no, no, he doesn't know. Does he? Does he? How does he know what? What he does, what does he know, do, what does he do that shows me he knows what? You tell me one of the thing he ever does that shows me he knows that. Is it like Kevin's just anyone? No, is it? Of course it isn't. I think he's, I think about how much which is more than I would have said done for anyone else. Anyone else? I have to say on your bike. The fact is I mentioned to your sh- to you shows to you shows it's not a decision I take lightly, does it? Oh, you're not looking at me. I'm not I don't think I'm going to agree with anything you say, do you? How much did we spend on this education? Let's not go down that route again. What good did it that do? Might as well pass all the oh, pissed up all against the wall. Yeah, go on, stand the door, Craig. Bang, that was unnecessary. Nice fellow, Helen. I was a good boss. I'm a good boss. I can't can't do for one, but I can't do for everyone. Even if it is Kevin. Have you ever had an okay day, love? I don't know what it is he doesn't get. You don't move house, would you? Just lost the job, do you? You get it. Well, well you know, you know you married her. He goes, oh, so he cropped up and like, well, I'm nearly 50. Not trained for anything else, no. But speaking of which, there was a story this morning that a fellow Richard was a domestic. He was off his head on booze. He was off his head on skunk. The girlfriend who dumped him is his usual everyday story, country folk. Where did you take him? 
Where did you take him? Where, where did you, who, where did who take him? Paramedics. I assumed they were paramedics. I don't know, I didn't ask. I was sight of mind. How did you talk to him down? I didn't. I tried to. But he got, but he then he got his cigarettes out. Didn't make the connection. I tried to light one. Petra soaked cigarettes. Revolved clicking in lighter. So I phoned him. What was his name? I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I'm not. Do you want to know what you should do next? How about this? Instead of trying to dish the dirt on some uh, poor, Scotty Miss Fool Numpty, you write a big article. Say you didn't say anything you sell to sell to one of the nationals. What about why so much goes on around here? So much drugs, wasted lives, this valley, it's a wash of every kind of crap. Get your hands on. That is our story. You you want to know where they, they took him? They probably took him to the psychiatric unit. But in fact, all he needed was a bad controlled demonstration how petrol behaves or one is put when you put it out no anywhere near a leg of flame because you had no idea how bad it would be where Tony Lee Royce living I had no idea you're living around here Katharina you know how much he, uh, you know as much as me well probably has he got released stress yeah his mother's went back he went I went back to re, re, Nick and rang probation there is an interest house in Richworth, but you wouldn't be there. Thanks, pleasure. What's, what, when she's expecting to go back from Rotterdam, midnight, you have come to the inside. You're too, you're too old to start shagging in your own cars. You have no luck. You have no good, a nice house. You have two fantastic children. Ah. Nelson says people make their own luck. Well, maybe that's so easy for Nelson to say. It's a stupid thing to say. Isn't it like someone sets out to be unlucky, is it? We all take opportunities if we can. If we see them, I think we do very well. All things considered, what does that mean? Nothing. I just mean giving you a little and dull and ornery we are. Half the company should be mine, Jenny. And instead, every day I have to go in there smiling and bend over and take it up the arse. I'm sorry, that's how it feels. Day after day, week after week, month after month. Year after year, there's pins left of the grave. Granny, Ashley, Kevin, Jenny. Hi, ladies. Hi, Ashley. Hiya. I've got a check for you. No rush. I'll pop down later. Any time. You know me. I'm not going anywhere. I just sort of you out access, Jenny. We have to access the games room. It's that it, you play if, if you play in, as you play in table tennis. Oh, actually, you can play table tennis, Scott. You, you're not. Not, you're not that I can. I love a game, game of table tennis. Good, well, it's all ready for you then. I'll be in our Sam about if you're short of someone to play with. Yeah, we can put, go out and dad. Go out. Dad, sure. Bye, mum. Bye, dad. Joy, we can take him, actually. Prime example. What? What are you talking about? You seen them cars? Brand new, 80, 1000. All that from holiday caravan rentals. I'm the wrong game altogether. I'm the wrong God that knows. I mean, the wrong God knows everything. Yes, what about which? What was for that, Richard? Uh, last night, we didn't do anything. We didn't have done by the time before. Oh, I'm not judging anybody. I felt sorry for him. Does his job? Does he just goes to him apparently? And what? And what? I get lonely. I didn't want Tommy Lee voice voice buzzing around in my head all night. Was it something else? Don't, did it work? No. Beep, beep. You might not even be living around here anymore. You might have care. You just thought about, thought that things mentioned abroad. You wouldn't occur to him to go anywhere else. He wouldn't, doesn't know. He wouldn't know how to be anywhere else. You're like a rat. You would never be more than three feet away. Dad, dad, there's a little good kite. Dad, beautiful, lovely. Look at that lad. Oh, actually, what a four, seven, five. What's that? What was that? The right amount? Spoil on Kevin. Shit. Right. What are you supposed to do? What's that is, lads? The surgery boss? No idea. Never seen what out like it. Maybe you ought to clean the place. Yeah. Yeah, we should. You're right. I can just have a word with you, Kevin. We've got in your night season rental a caravan. There's a, lot, there's a few bits of bobs. Need to go through with you. Could we do that later? I said that uh, help Jenny unload the shopping. Shell, shell, would you like a beer? Oh no, come on, have a beer. Don't need a beer.
What's the matter? I am off offering you beer. Go and have a beer, Kevin. Listen, you don't need to worry about me and I haven't seen anything. Well, I didn't. I can see it. I can see it. Cannabis. No, I mean, I mean. I know why there's bags of camel shit in my bag of sand. But why are you accusing me of something I don't want any trouble, Ashley? I just want to go back to Jenny in a caravan. Not happy making threats, Kevin. I like Jenny. I'm fond of the girls, but you're accusing me of something. It's very serious business. Ashley, Ashley, this is, this is, you can trust me. Believe me. I like, I think people all have to have money, a be- make money, the best way they know how. Yes, actually, yeah. I'd like a beer, knob. Would you like to make half a million pounds, sorry? It's not something I could do on my own. I would have fully through, thought, I thought through most of the details. I could need help. Well, I'm listening. Nurses and Gunnia has a daughter, Anne. Nurses could afford to lose half a million pounds easily. Any more, you would be getting to the police. Make a good few, take a good few days. Probably wait to get him, to get some, a kind of money together in cash about where I was his suspicion at the bank. I don't know what we, where we are, where you would keep her. As I, as I say, there's elements I haven't thought through yet. But the basic, you're talking about kidnapping her. She's just finished college. She got a job. No one apart from them will miss her. Just for a few days. That's all it'll take. I thought you like, you like old. I thought you, you like old Nev. No, no, Ashley. I don't like any old Nev. Do you know him? My dad were best friends at school. He grew up the same street. They cut this idea up together. He kicked the, the whole thing off together. Now my dad went off to college and to train to accountant. He came back, Nelson Lev- Levison offered him a job. They were pet partners. And somehow Levison sidestepped that. Though he did sidestep things, he got the lawyers in. My dad, being my dad, where well, he said at it. Well, can I think about it? That's what Nelson Nils- said. They asked him for a raise so I could get Melissa to a better school. He thought about it and said no. What do you say? He's sorted. He's fine. He's chicken shit. No me why to worry about him. I'm not happy with all this, uh, with this new fella. He's fine. He's not, he's not too quiet. He comes in recommended. He's looking at me funny. Give me a break. Been inside eight years. He's only got what, just got out. Go to kettle on. There's some out I want to talk to you with. Both of you. Tommy, want a cup of tea? Granny, there is some flowers. Ooh, ooh, uh, where are they, they, Richard? They're playing with fire there. You know you don't you? You're going to read me a story, Glenn. I don't want to, I want a few five minutes to myself. Have you got charge? I will have to go have a time to get up there here. Yeah. I'm not running a bath. I'll bring you a cup of tea up. Tag Dad Ashley says you're gonna got time to pop over to the house for two minutes before you head off home. Okay. Tag Dad okay. I need one or two more details for you. In principle, yeah, it's a departure. But me and Lewis and Tommy are confident it's something we can handle. Well, it's obviously. I've got overheads. So here's what I can offer you. 10%. 10? But look, not look, look this. We're taking, we're taking 50 grand, Kevin. Enough uh, to put this kitty through school, more or less. If you want, you want it, isn't it? I want half. I can't justify half, Kevin. I want the fella taking the risk here. You're not. I gave you information. You did. You really, the reality is, me and Leds could turn the whole job around without you. Down, couldn't we? Oh, so in fact, you're lucky. I'm offering you anything at all. You can't do that. I could do that. What? What would? How? What would you, could you do? Tell the police about my hand. What sand? Don't want to fall out with you, Kevin. I want you to put Melissa through this kind of school. Is she just? It's what she deserves. Just what you deserve. You got fifty f- better. It'd be, it'd be fifty grand better off, or you wouldn't you know that the thing happened. A hundred, a hundred grand. Wait, I want Cardina be able to be able to go too when she time comes. Right, fine. Hundred. Where are you? Well, then when are you? Unless you know Kev, or Dark Horse, you. Well, aren't you? Ah, oh, all right, lads. All right, right off. Cook. Back off. 
I, th- I think that means come in, Sarge. Really, really. I said what well, I, I said that it's a, it's racist. No, oi, oi. Where do you want? I haven't got one. Don't need one. Somebody rang three times and said you've heard screaming coming in his flat. Oh, that was me. Well, her. He smacked on the, her head. Well, uh, on accent. Where's the thing? It was accent. It was accent. What's your name, you lad? I'm talking to you. Jason Tiddle. You call me Tina if you want. Right. Can you pull that string out of your left foot for me, please? Would you like to hear some jokes? Yeah, if you're confident, I can handle them. Liam Hughes is threatening to press charges against me for assault. Assault by firm? Yep, that's yep. That's good, that's funny. And steady, you ought to embrace yourself. Newspaper board, the newspaper fire extinguisher, offers invoice to me personally for the air of £75. The police of fire extinguisher, the one he didn't know, he even knew he had. Nice one. I like them. They're both good. Kelvin, hiya. Nelson, Everson, wants to see you. What for? Dunno. Oh, Kevin. Come in, sit down. Shut up. Door. So you won't know. Well, we'll come into that. The good news is I can't, I can view, can't view Sally. No, just a minute. No, just in a moment. A minute. But what I do, we'll do. I definitely don't want this pandering about because I generally can't do it. Can't do it for everyone. Pay for their school fees. Both of them. you got Helen to think, thank, and when. One, one way or another, they both had to go at me. And did she, ma'am? Mm, no, well, I don't know what to say. There's something else I was thinking about. I'm not retiring. I'll go mad. I think a bit, taking a bit of time off. The thing is, you see, Helen's been diagnosed with liver cancer. Helen, four months since, progress, progress isn't, uh, anyway. Progress isn't, uh, anyway. Things she wants to do, things she wants to do, places we visited over, we visited over the years that she wants to, that she wants to. So the point is, I'd like you to go to advertise for me. I think, I, I, I think you think, take you for granted sometimes, Gravin. A well, gentleman manager, director, temporary, happen, not happen. Is that something you feel you could handle? We're telling her to put you through school. I'm sorry, uh, Helen. Yeah, 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 shit. It's not really spin it, but you, you can put it on. Put it on it. See you. Bye. Sorry, Kathleen. You haven't got ten minutes again, have you? We have someone, an educational pathologist, pops in every three weeks. I like to ask him how to spend some time with Ryan. He gets frustrated because he struggles with his reading. Don't think it's rocket science. Can't keep letting him repeat those sort of behaviour. Patterns not explore what root cause root might be. No, it's, you see, I've had comments from other parents. It's simply a matter of strategies for him. Become more aware when he's getting angry. And how better we can deal with it. A moment. Then finding targets for him, but it's not easy. I know that. Would you like to some tea? No. I can tell you something, of course. Begging my daughter died just after Bert and Ryan born. Yeah, I think I know that. Knew that. He was six weeks old. So we never really wanted him. She didn't, couldn't do anything about it in time. So I didn't know she was pregnant. He refused to be believe if he was that she was, I think. I didn't think that was going on there. I was think that's what's going on there. I tell me I'm boring you, not boring me. She's um she's raped. She was, she couldn't tell me because she fired and held to over at me make a report which God knows I wouldn't have done. Not if something that is something she couldn't, my husband found her. He begged, hanged herself in her bedroom. I'm sorry for him. I've seen dead bodies. He hasn't. I had to look after Ryan. I had. To, I have to. But I don't think there was an alternative, you know. He didn't ask to be none of it. It's his fault, was it? To be innocent, the world, and nobody, nobody wants you. It doesn't particularly. It doesn't particularly. But Richard, my husband, he could stand it. Couldn't stand it. He couldn't stand being in the same house. Don't know why I'm telling you this, except I didn't mess with him. With him, I'm always done done. I don't think everyone's ever questioned that, Kathleen. I oh, hang on. I know why I'm, te- why I'm telling you. A father was, e- was ever caught. No, no. I could never prove anything anyway. Not now. I know who it was, though. He was in prison for eight years for supplying drugs. Not what he did to Becky. No, he got away with that. It wasn't a word, it wasn't a word against hers. She might have given a consent. 
But who knows? They were both a bit drunk. Job was brutal. Brutal, brutal attack. She knew who he was. She wrote his name down after she fell. Terrified. If Ryan's take like him in any way, shape, or form, he bound to be, isn't he? No, not, but no. You're right, ignoring it won't make it go away. Game changed and playing on video games. If pizza's t- for tea, hey, fantastic. Hello, hello. You don't fancy going to Robert tonight again? Again tonight, do you? Are you right? I'm just weighing out the pros and cons. What it means to take the law in your own hands. Well, as um, Sion's side, obviously, would be get caught. Hmm, probably. I don't know. I say the downside would be they don't feel much better or different than you done the, that, after you've done the thing. Which, by the way, which way, way would you? It isn't like you're bringing, bringing him back, is it? Don't let yourself get obsessed with it, Kathleen. He's a low life, he's scum. He's not what's going, he's going to come into me one day, and he just will. Upside down, the other hand, hand. and the exquisite satisfaction will get you grinding. Is a severe scrotum in the mud with the underside of his city's few, and burying his worthless carcass in a shallow grave up on the moors where it can get rot, undisturbed, and loved until the end of time. I make sure I make him make you feel better. Just a bit. Are you right? Doesn't he fr- it frighten you? Are you okay face to face with him, not knowing what the hell you might do to him? You're not going to act until you seek him out. Are you? Ashley, Ashley, it's Kevin. Okay, sir. I like to think I may have a, 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 may have, I think, shit, Ashley. I think, Ashley, hi, it's Kevin. I think I have made a mistake in this house of business. I think we need to call the whole thing off. I think, Ashley, uh, it's Kevin. I think I must have miscalculated how Nelson is worth. Ashley, I miscalculated how much that is Nelson is worth. Yeah. Ashley, I must have created how much Nelson is worth. Hello, Ashley, it's Kevin. Ashley, it's Kevin, hello. Yeah, look, I can't be thinking, I don't know, I think this business, I don't think we should do it. I think it's been off more than I think I may have miscalculated how much Nelson is worth. Don't agree with me, Kevin. Not in my mobile, not on the landline. I see so you know, Ashley. Listen, this is going tits up. Please try to trace calls, any calls, all calls. You just keep your nerve. You don't go and ring me. But actually, shit, 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 shit. Tossa, sorry, Wanker. They told me they were going to lose the fight. Lose behind my wavering heart. Wavering. It was so cold. Let me in the window. Oh, that could have been an opportunity. That was not an opportunity. You don't know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. Let me drive. You're not driving. I'm driving. There's a fellow in the front desk. and sister. He wants to talk to you. Proper police officer. You won't give his name. You won't say what it's about. He seems a, does seem a bit upset. Are you drunk? No, I don't think so. He says his face, oh, his face or anything. He seems perfectly normal, really. He see, does seem upset, though. Good morning. Yes, yeah, sir. Can I help you, okay? Uh, where do I start? Uh, okay, you, uh, are you, uh, I'm sergeant. So that's it. Is that, is the best you're going to get unless you want to drive over to Tottenham? Oh no, it's okay. So how it started, I asked my boss for a rise, a pay rise the other day. The same thing is, thing is, you see my daughter says she's been offered well. Okay, are you to report a crime, mister? Not it's something that I know this man, you see. Oh well, I always thought it'd probably be a bit dodgy. Be honest, and what happened? Nothing, nothing's happened. Nothing's happened yet. Can I take your name? I'm not, I don't. Are you on medication? Would you like some tea? Then we sit down and have a proper chat. Would you like to do that? Would you make a, make a statement? Do you want to write it down? Would it help? There isn't. There isn't. No, no, okay. I'll tell you what. Look, you go out the door, turn left, walk five yards down the street to the next door. Let you in, and then you come from my office and start in the beginning, all right? Yeah, bravo. November 545, you're responsible to cry to flat 12. Wolford uh, house. The first caller saying the lad dangling off a balcony. Is that acid house? Responding. Shut it out. Go on, stupid tosser. Oh God, I'm really sorry. A ironic thing to do. I'm really, really sorry. I'm driving far too close. Yeah, you've probably not even been even injured properly. Are you? Yeah, I'm not. No, I am. 
girl is soon be recepting. You're the one that's at fault. Oh, well, on the other hand, you were driving a bit like all over the place, weren't you? You're speed-wise. So it's all my fault. You're not looking at what's in front of you. Get the bitch round here. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you going? What's, what are you going? What are you going? Doing? No, shut your mouth. Get off. Get off me. Get off. Come on. Stop wiggling. Stop wiggling. Hold still. Feet. See you there. You want to, are you? We're not going to hurt you anymore. We have to. It'll be over soon enough. All right? All right. Hello. Actually, it's me. Don't hang up on me. I'll call you from the call box. Right? Want? Want? Do you want? I'm not kidding. This is the last time you ring me. Just to say, just say those boys of yours won't hurt her. Really? You know, she's not a bad kid. They treated her with respect, weren't they? If Nelson pays ball, Kevin... You'll treat her with every courtesy. Okay, I should be at work. Very, very good. Right. Well, I'll see you Saturday. Business as usual. Don't give any sh- me any shit, you little bastard, or chop your tits off. Let's get this bag off her. Now, nah, leave her. I've got to get this phone over to Ashley and the farm. What do you know? What did you just say? Shit. She didn't, couldn't hear me. She had a bag of her. She's whimpering. She didn't, no, wouldn't have heard now. I'm not going back inside because of shit brains that twat like you. Do you think every time, every time, before you open your mouth, there, there, down there in the future, rip your cock off and shove it up your ass? She didn't hear anything. Mind you, didn't tell you to go. Yeah, she owes a deal of 50 odd quid. All right. She's a good friend, can't pay up. It's three days knocking on his door. He planned to put him in hospital. He making inside shifting himself because there's no way out. He remembers this thing he does with his mates when he's high as a kite on FM for wins. He plays Spider Man down the side of the building. A drop will run back into Nick's all the way down for fun. So he sets off on your stone cold whatever right. So he sets off off the edge of what manages to run back me. He freezes and realizes he's not off his face of chemicals. This is pretty bloody silly thing to do and be doing. I'll oh, bless. Maybe the chipping mountain set the rope will lock the door in right. Quickly work out what's gone and done. You see him, they stop lobbing his words, bloody goods. He's telly, his Wi Fi, his telly station, his Xbox, his Game Boy. I'll be balky, knocking, have him knock him off his perch. Of course, by the time they arrived, they're all gone. There's him dangling there with his trousers around his ankles. He's wearing those sort of jeans. Come up just by your arse. Sarge, catch you later. Hello, my little chickadee. Is that Nev? It can't, might be. Nelson Gavalier. Gavalier, yes. How are you doing, Nelson Gavalier? Who am I speaking to? Oh, you can call me. God, you can do me with my... What do you do with my daughter's telephone then, God? I just borrowed it off her to see me and my... You see me and my friends... Right, what's going on? Right, listen very carefully, Nelson. Because I will not repeat myself. We appear to got a lovely little daughter. Very vulnerable position. We're not going to vote well, any police. Okay, you're right. Just like you're told, Nelson. But like a good little lad. And nothing nasty ever happened to her. Who are you? I'm the last one that ensures nothing unpleasant happens to her. With her any. I want you to get your car keys. I want you to walk outside to your car. Sorry, don't rush. Don't speak to anyone. I'm going to ring you about 20 minutes. You know Dewsbury Royal Station? Services, East Brown on the M62. Phone booths, two of them. Just outside the front door, one on the left. You've got 20 minutes. I want you to do on your own. I'll see you, please. Anything that makes me suspicious, even if for a second, you'll regret it the whole of your life. The rest of your life. And you'll regret it the rest of your life. Hello, hello. Are you a virgin? Hello, Kevin. It's me, Nelson. 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 You're not going to believe this. Some toe rag, shit of brains, arsehole, bastard. Good old Annie, if he wants a million quid. A million? For real? It's serious. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, can we raise it? Can we raise that much money in two days? Two days in cash? Without a bank thinking that we're laundering money? Well, we can. We can. I'll look into the accounts. We've just got to do it. We've got to raise it. Because that nasty bastard means business. 
When are we going to tell Helen? Oh, what the hell are we going to tell Helen, Kevin? 